Hello everyone. Hope this video finds you well. This video was created by Ankit Kumar, Roshan Jha, Shreya Shah, Moshin Ali, Prabhanshu Agarwal and Shashank Dhiman for the marketing management project of MBA Bash of 2021 to 2023 of Indian Institute of Management Bodh Gaya. The video details with the book market its history growth and future prospects of the industry so before delving into the market let's understand what is ebook an ebook is the digital or electronic version of a book and can be read on various devices such as specific e-readers as well as on tablets smartphones or computers e-books include fiction non-fiction and textbooks or academic literature paid downloads are offered in online stores such as amazon or itunes and also in selected brick and mortar book stores or via online self publishing platforms open access literature is not considered an e-book coming to the timeline in 1949 angela ruiz robles a teacher from ferrol spain patented the encyclopedia mecania or the mechanical encyclopedia a mechanical device which operated on compressed air where text and graphics were contained on spools that users would load into rotating spindles her idea was to create a device which would increase the number of books that her pupils carried to school the final device was planned to include audio recordings a magnifying glass a calculator and an electric light for night reading her device was never put into production but a prototype is kept in the national museum of science and technology in corina in 1993 launches bibliobyte launches a website to sell e-books in which they used to send the period of the books to the customer who play pays for their services in 1999 american publisher simon and custer became the first publisher to simultaneously publish titles in e-book coming to the highlights of the market revenue in the e-book segments is projected to reach united states 205 million dollars in 2021 and expected to grow at 5% in the ebook segment the number of readers is expected to amount 104 million users by 2025 user penetration will be 6.3% in 2021 and is expected to hit 7.2% by 2025 the average revenue per user is expected to amount to united states dollars 2.34 in global comparison most revenue will be generated in the united states which is 6771 million in 2021 in the year 2020 a share of 40% of users were belonging to the medium income group in the year 2020 a share of 64.7 Oh, percent of users were male coming to the market segmentation the market can be segmented on four bases the genre the types the region and the application there are different types of genres like fiction non fiction literature children books comics etc Out of this, fiction is the most popular genre and contributes close to fifty-six percent in terms of revenue. Educational books are the second most contributor in terms of revenue. E-books can be read on different devices such as smartphones, tablets, e-book reader, laptops, and etc. The e-book market can also be categorized into regions such as North America, United States, Europe, India, etc. North America is the largest market for e-books and expected to grow due to rising demand for comic books. 
Asia has a global market share of around 15% and is the fastest growing market. Ebook stores can be either application based or web based. Coming to the market leaders of ebook, the market leaders in ebook segments are Amazon, Rakuten, Barnes and Noble, and Apple iBook. Amazon is the largest player in the market with a market share of 67%, which sells the ebook on Amazon. It ha also has its Kindle store. It also sells its own ebook reader. Rakuten Kobo has 3% market share in the United States, but is very famous in Canada, Japan, France, and Australia. In fact, in Japan and France, it generates higher revenue than Amazon. Barnes & Noble has the largest number of retail outlets in the United States and has a market share of 25%. Ipel iBook has 5% of the market share. Smart Smashwords is a self-publishing platform where authors can publish books which can be then sold to various platforms like Amazon, Apple, iBook, etc. Coming to the industry growth, the ebook market is expected to grow by a compounded annual growth rate of 4.9% from 2020 to 2025. The ebook market is expected to report a consolidated turnover of around 205 million US dollars in 2020, almost 16.2% growth from a previous year, that is 2020. This growth is tremendous and the COVID-19 pandemic and lockdown around the world have accelerated the sector's development as more people are forced to go for ebook options rather than the hard copy. Reasons for rapid growth of the industry are the technical development and sophistication of reading devices that provide a similar experience to reading an actual book are the key factors driving the global ebook market. The rising adoption of smartphones and multilingual features of ebooks is an advantage that is expected to drive the global demand for ebooks. The easy access for a wide range of ebook libraries through an application or online services is being consumed over the internet, thus, emerging as a low cost alternative to the traditional delivery method. Services available for these ebooks, such as e lending, have also supported the adoption of ebook across the world. The environmental protection campaigns from governments across the globe, especially for saving trees to reduce paper use, also increase the demand for ebooks. Libraries across the country have closed most of their services to mitigate the spread of COVID 19. However, Many are still offering electronic reading materials. Moreover, due to the decreasing cost of ebooks, libraries can now buy more copies of the ebooks, which is aiding in the market growth. Ebook market growth. Well, we have plotted the expected growth rate of the ebook market region wise from 2020 to 2025 the country is expected to report high growth rates are australia new zealand and south asian countries mainly india china bangladesh nepal and other gulf countries the country is expected to grow at a medium pace for the ebook market are the united states canada and all european countries including italy uk france the netherlands the countries expected to grow at a low pace for the ebook market are Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, Peru, Ecuador, and almost all African countries. Ebook market growth by revenue and genre. We have plotted the growth of the ebook market by revenue according to the genre. The figures from 2014 to 2021 are actual and from 2021 to 2024 is the expected growth rate. The market for fictional ebooks has almost doubled from 2014 to 2021. 
and is expected to grow nearly 25% from the 2021 level. The non-fictional book has almost grown 150% from 2014 to 2021 and is expected to grow nearly 50% from 2021 to 2024. The market for literature ebooks is expected to almost double from 2014 to 2024. Significant growth has been achieved after 2020, mainly due to the COVID-19 related lockdown, which was has forced people worldwide to stay at home. The comic ebook has grown multifold and is further expected to grow at least 50% by 2024. The same is the case with children's ebooks, which have also seen multifold growth across the years. Overall, the ebook market has almost doubled from 2014 to 2021, and according to prediction, it is expected to grow further around 50% till 2024. As it is visible, the ebook reader market has seen consistent growth over time without any sign of stagnation. The data count of an ebook has around 5.87 million in 2015, which had increased sharply to around 8.52 million in 2018. And that the growth rate became flat and the ebook reader count had increased to around 8.68 million. But the COVID 19 pandemic and the lockdowns had again increased the pace of increase of numbers of ebook readers. The charm and magic of having a colossal universal library on your palms coupled with the added advantage of not having to squint to a traditional LCD or LED to survive long reading sessions due to the very easy on the eye almost paper and link like marvel of a display aptly named the Ealing Display surely makes it marketable and lovable product. Goes without saying that it is one of the most environmentally friendly things you can buy. Well, the final words uh, are in comparison to physical books, ebooks are often sold for quite high prices, and consumers do not actually benefit from the cost reduction that come from low printing price and distribution expenses. The circ this circumstance causes the ebook market growth potential heavily, although the general adoption among consumer is con still consistently growing. We expect non-traditional methods of literature co content consumptions like scrolling away on an ebook reader, if not on a smartphone and audio book, to become the mainstream in the coming years, even in developing countries. It is already mainstream in the developed countries, especially while traveling people tend to carry less and less space and weight carrying books. There are other tangible benefits like having an extremely easy access to a dictionary, to a global community with the notes and highlights, to notes and highlights, and to dynamic font size. These are some of the great features of ebook. Well, thanks. I would like to thank you on behalf of our group for your time. I hope this video proves to be informative and interesting feel free to express your opinions doubts questions remarks etc do like and share this video if you like this thank you once again